draw the graph of y equals a function of x, where the function of x equals x plus 1 for the domain minus 2 to 1, and the function of x equals 2 for values from 1 to 4. And so to graph this, I need to think of this uh, as y equals x plus 1, where y is going to be the output. So I'm going to draw the graph of y equals x plus 1 for values from minus 2 to 1. So x values from minus 2 to 1. I've not bothered to put any numbers on here. I'm going to draw the graph of y equals x plus 1. y equals x plus 1 is going to be a, a line with a gradient of 1 and the intercept at 1. So intercept at 1 and gradient of 1. So it must be coming down through those points there. So join those up. So that's the first part done. The next part is that we've got function of x equals 2. So the output, which is y, is going to be 2. And I'm going to draw this for values from 1 all the way along to 4. So the graph of y equals 2 is just a horizontal line. Horizontal line going across. And we're finished. So that is the graph of the function of x for the entire domain, all the way from minus 2 to 4. Draw the graph of y equals a function of x, where function of x equals 4. So again, we'll think of this as y equals 4, because we're going to graph it from values from minus 4 to 2. So minus 4 along to 2, we're going to see the graph of y equals 4. So y equals 4 being a horizontal line across, like so. And then the function of x equals x squared for values from minus 2 along to 2. Um, to do the graph of x, scale, x squared, we'll just think about the coordinates. So minus 1 squared would give us 1. Um, 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. And 2 squared would be 4. So that's just a, set, a part of the, uh, the curve y equals x squared. And then the bit at the end is y equals 8 minus 2x. And that's going to cross at 8. And uh, it's got a gradient of minus 2, so that's going to come in down here, minus 2. And we need to go along from 2 to 4, so that's just this final part on here. So that is the graph of the function of x for the entire domain from minus 4 up to 4. So this question is the other way around. The graph of y equals the function of x is shown. We need to define the function of x, stating clearly the domain for each part, and then at the end we'll state the range of the function. Now, so let's um, begin by writing out the specific parts. So the first part, we are looking at this bit here. And this is a, a line, straight line, with a gradient of 2 and a y-intercept of 2. So a function of x must be 2x plus 2. And we're looking at values of x that are coming from minus 2 up to 1. So values of x from minus 2, minus 2 being included, going up to 1. Second part is this bit here. So the function of x here is just f of x equals 4, as before, because that's the line y equals 4. And that's from 1 up to 4. And 1 is the included value. And then we've got this last bit, which is a little bit harder to work out. So we're looking at a line which has got a gradient of minus 3. Um, and the values on the domain, oh, I, need to, I haven't finished this graph yet, um, so I'll finish the graph first. Um, so this is minus 3x plus something, but without drawing the whole thing on, I can't quite see where it's going to uh, cross, so I'm just going to do a bit of working out. Um, I know that the line will be y equals minus 3x plus some number, so if I just put in some coordinates, we can work out what c is going to be without having to keep the line going on forever. Um, so this point here, on the line would be 4, 4. So the y coordinate is 4, and the x coordinate is 4. So I'd have minus 3 times 4 plus c. So 4 equals um, minus 12 plus c. So 
of C must be 16, meaning that this must be the line my y equals minus 3x plus 16. So pop the 16 on the end, and the values that we're looking at are from x is, x is 4 to x being 5. And both of those can be included because that's the last set. State the range of f of x. The range is just the output value. So where the input values here um, is the domain from minus 2 to 5, the output values are just the possible values of y that you can get. So the range being uh, anything down from this point here, which is minus 2, to um, this point here at the top, which is 4. So the range of f of x for part b is um, f of x from uh, minus 2 up to 4.